when we are simplifying, the best thing to do when simplifying is always go ahead and follow your rules of exponents. Okay? So the rules of exponents, first thing we talk about is parentheses. So inside these parentheses, can we simplify anything? Yes. Well, I can't multiply 3 times m squared any further. I can't multiply them times a. So they're actually simplified. So inside the parentheses, we're good. Then we go into exponents, or our powers. And what you guys can see is we have a 2. And that, that, that expression is being raised to second power. Notice the expression is separated by multiplication. Since it's separated by multiplication and not addition or subtraction, we can distribute. Right? OK, so let's just go and do this. Let's do one step at a time. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do two steps at a time. I don't like having negative exponents. And we know we don't want to deal with negative exponents. So if I have a negative in the denominator, to rewrite that as positive, I can put it in the numerator. Very good. So I have x squared times x to the positive third. Then I have 3 squared m squared squared, and then a squared, all over 18 m to the fourth a. Everybody follows me? OK, I just wanted to show you this step. Now let's go and simplify. Remember, when you multiply, you add, right? So this becomes x to the fifth um, times 9 times m to the fourth times a squared all over 18 m to the fourth times a. Now, you can do this a couple different ways. When you have terms in the numerator and in the denominator, and when you're multiplying, we add it. So when you're dividing, you subtract, right? So in reality, this is a, a squared divided by a is really a to the 2 minus 1, which is just a, right? So that just leaves you with an a. However, m to the fourth divided by m to the fourth is m to the fourth minus 4, which is equal to m to the 0. Anything raised to the 0 power on your rules of exponents is equal to 1. Or you could also say, these are the same thing. It's like saying 5 divided by 5, which we know divides to 1, right? So those divide to 1. 9 over 18. 18 does not divide into 18. So you have to reduce it. What number divides both into 9 and into 18? 9, and it goes in there. That reduces to 1 half. So now, the only thing I have left here is x to the fifth times a over 2. It's right there. The, the 1? Yeah, it's there. We don't need to write times 1, though, over 1, right? The 1 there? It's right there. Yeah, it's just there. We just don't need to write it. I mean, you're multipl like all these multiplying by 1s, you, just, you don't need to write them. So we just leave them out. Anybody have any questions on that? All right, I will give you guys, we have some new stuff to go over, but I want to make sure that everybody